Hello, my name is Jody, and today I'm going to show you how to create a radial engine in Katia V5. We're going to construct 10 different parts in part design and 3 assemblies to create an end product that should look something like this. So, let's get started. We'll begin by creating the master rod. Uh, enter part design and name the part master rod. Enter into Sketcher on the XY plane and draw a horizontal axis. Draw two circles on the horizontal axis. The right circle will have a diameter of 35 millimeters. The left circle we're going to delete later. Um, so its diameter doesn't matter. The distance between the two circles should be 250 millimeters. Draw two more small circles on the left side of the sketch. The height of the rightmost leftmost circle should be 26 millimeters. Its distance from the center of the large left circle should be 39 millimeters. The diameter of both circles is going to be 26 millimeters. The height, no, the distance from the center is going to be 16 millimeters. The height is going to be 43 millimeters. Sorry, 15 for the distance, not 16. Next, draw a line make it an arc, actually, that extends on, try not to constrain anything, that becomes a straight line and connects to the rightmost circle on the sketch. Make sure the, circ the circle and the arc are tangent to one another. The radius of this arc is going to be 72 millimeters. Make sure that it is tangent with the straight line. The height of this arc is going to be 13 millimeters. Yeah, let's redraw that really quick. and make sure to add in an edge fillet there. Add the tangency back in. Make sure the points meet. So the radius of the edge fillet is going to be 35 millimeters. delete the circle, get rid of that constraint. Um, its height from the axis is 9 millimeters. 9 millimeters. Okay. Trim the edges of the rightmost circle. Draw another circle on the left side of the sketch that should be tangent to both circles. Hang on just a second. To tangent to both circles, 
with a diameter of 144. millimeters. Next trim the outside of the big circle. And add in another circle that lies on the same plane. Trim the two smaller circles. and delete the other circle completely. Select all the parts of the sketch that we just made and mirror them across the axis. Make sure the two, the right circle is tangent. Draw another arc that is tangent with the two prior curves and has a diameter of 144 millimeters. So make sure it lies on the same line and is tangent. Trim this. Check to make sure that everything is fully constrained. Here we see that it is not, so we will trim the edges. Everything should be fully constrained. No. Nope. So we're going to fix the tangency. Now that it is fully constrained, we have our first sketch. Exit Sketcher and pad the sketch to 7 millimeters. Next, enter into the bottom side of the profile. Draw a circle, make it coincident with the edge of the rightmost circular surface. Draw an axis through the center that's horizontal. Draw another circle on that axis that has a diameter of 63. The distance between the center of both circles should be 250 millimeters. Project the profile shown here forward. You only need one half of it. So, but we'll project both. Um, next, draw a profile that is exactly the same as what we projected for it. Delete the excess there. Next, we're going to draw a circle that is tangent to the leftmost circle and coincident with the edge of the line we just drew. Trim the edge of the circle and add in a tangency constraint between the line and the arc. trim the excess so that you have half of a sketch. Select the edges of the profile we just drew and use the mirror command to mirror them across the axis. 
This is our second sketch. Exit Sketcher and pad the sketch out 14 millimeters. And turn to the top face of the part and draw an elongated hole. It's found in the rectangle command. Draw a circle that is on the same line as the elongated hole and is also coincident with the edge. This will make your elongated hole also coincident. The distance between the rightmost circle and the elongated hole, the rightmost of the elongated hole should be 30 millimeters. The length of the elongated hole is 150 millimeters. The radius of the elongated hole is 6 millimeters. Turn the rightmost hole into a construction element Exit, pocket, sketch, 17.5 millimeters. Draw a hole, select up till next. It should be concentric, the other one. The diameter of this hole is 24 millimeters. And turn to the front face again. Do another circle. The diameter of 63 millimeters. Project forward the rightmost circle. Or draw another one, make it coincident, and make it a construction element. The horizontal distance between the two holes we currently have is 250 millimeters. We need them to lie on the same plane. Um, one way to do that is to make the vertical distance zero. There are better ways, but that's one way. Pad that sketch 14 millimeters. Next, draw a circle or insert a hole that's concentric with that edge. The radius of this hole is going to be 52 millimeters. And this is our part. We have a few more sketches left to do, and then we'll be finished with this one.